the medical decision making that comes into play in this type of, of situation is very complicated. It's not simply broken bone, fix it. Me and a few friends were driving my golf cart and um, I think I turned too sharp and I flipped the golf cart and it landed on my right leg. I wasn't really aware of what was going on because I kind of blacked out during the whole process. I got a phone call and it was from one of her friends and all she said was that it's broken. The other girls were, uh, had road rash and were sitting and they were fine, but uh, Cassie's uh, leg was kind of blowing up as she was laying there. The black on her foot was, um, it was, it was too dark for road rash. You know, at first I thought that it was gravel or something, but it was in a pattern. It was, um, it was, it was too black. The first thing that we saw when she got here is that she had battery acid on her foot. It had already burned all the way through the skin into the muscle. She was going to lose that foot if we didn't get the battery acid off. And as if that wasn't bad enough, the fracture that she had went all the way through her growth plates. Now, Dr. Schrader um, is a great orthopedic surgeon, and he looked at the films and said, wow, this is a bad fracture. From the time that she had her accident, to the time that she was going into OR was two hours. Well, the doctor that came out of the surgery gave me a 50-50 chance that she might lose her leg. So I didn't know for sure what was going to happen. It's not a simple one operation and you're done. There's the fracture. There's the soft tissue loss. There is getting tissue back over to cover the areas that she lost. And that's complicated. I only heard help as they were working on Cassie. Always were hopeful that, you know, at some time she's going to be able to, to walk again. She still has a way to go. She's, she's got a lot of recovery to, to do, but giving her the best chance is, is what we're all about.